think we're going to use this lens on this setup. I don't know of anybody that's tried to shoot a vlog on anamorphic lenses. And there are probably reasons why nobody's tried to shoot a vlog on anamorphic because anamorphic have certain things that make it difficult to make a vlog using an anamorphic lens. So I gotta say it because we're gonna need it for this video. My name's Dustin, your video tour guide, and please keep your arms and legs inside your chairs at all times. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So what is it about anamorphic lenses that makes this video so challenging? The way that I'm going to explain this is that there's basically three different categories of anamorphic lenses. There's the more professional, like cinema type anamorphic lenses. The big problem with those is that they're really big. But what about for that shot, that classic like vlog style where it's kind of wide angle and you get that soft bokeh in the background, you know what I'm talking about? That vlog look. Oh wait, what's that? You're kind of scared right now because I'm just sitting in this corner creepily on this chair with this one light on? Okay, I'll change things up, hold on. Is this any better? The second category that I wanna to touch on is DIY anamorphic lenses. They're a great option because we can customize the lens to exactly how we need, but also the problem with those is that they're very kind of finicky, is the only kind of like thing I can come up with. It, it's just not gonna work. And then that leads us to our last option, which is budget options. In fact, I may be filming on the lens right now. This is the lens right here that's going to be our best candidate to be our anamorphic vlog lens. Why? Because it's so small, it's 35 millimeters and it's a 1.6 times squeeze. Oh, and it also is full frame. This is gonna be our main lens, but it still has some common problems that other anamorphic lenses have. One of the problems is that the minimum focus distance is three feet. So I think it's easily fixed with these, these are called diopters. They're basically just like magnifying glasses. But there is problems when we use diopters. When you put a diopter on a lens, you lose your infinity focus. I don't wanna have to unscrew this and screw it back on every single time. That's where this thing comes into play. So those came in clutch and then I'm just using a step up ring as well that's gonna go on the lens like this. There are two other challenges when it comes to anamorphic. Obviously the lens being manual. We're just going to have to accept that some of my shots might be out of focus. The other thing is that this lens has a lot of pin cushion distortion, but I think I'm gonna leave it. I forgot a few really important details. The camera selection. This is actually the first time you're seeing anamorphic vlog mode, huh? Huh? For me, it's an easy choice what camera to choose, the Lumix S5 II, not just because I own it, but it has anamorphic D-squeeze built into the camera. And then I also don't have to put an external monitor on because I'm trying to keep this setup as light as possible. This camera also has 6K open gate. Basically, I can maximize the amount of pixels on the sensor so I'm not losing any data and we can get the most epic anamorphic looking footage we can. And this camera also has anamorphic IBIS settings specific to the squeeze. Now with this lens, we're just gonna have to turn it off. It's gonna be a little kind of bouncy. There's no, there's gonna be no IBIS because I have to turn it off since there is no 1.6 option. But for all the other lenses that we're using in this vlog, it'll come in handy. I feel like there was something else that I had to say, but I can't remember, so let's keep going.
whole reason that I'm making this video is because I'm shooting an anamorphic vlog and I need to get more footage of me actually vlogging on this Suray 35mm full frame. But I want to talk about some of the things that I'm excited about that I've seen at NAB. And the first thing is this S5 Mark II X. Super excited about this. It comes out soon. It's end of May, I think, is when it's coming out. It's kind of sad, though, because every time that I've seen it, it either says, like, do not touch or it's in, like, a glass box. So they're meaning to do this because it makes me want it even more. But another thing that I'm super excited about that Panasonic and Condor Blue and SanDisk have done is this Condor Blue top handle, which actually has a built-in SSD. So you can take it out and you can record through the SSD with the handle. And you can use it as well on other cameras, but it was made in collaboration with Panasonic, Condor Blue, and SanDisk. Another thing that I'm excited about is this 80 mil Nanomorph. I'm actually really excited for more brands and companies to be making kind of like longer focal lengths in this kind of smaller type mini anamorphic style because last night I was actually shooting on the Suray on the gimbal and it was super nice having that such light setup. And then I discovered this other really interesting lens right here. Look at this thing. This thing really caught my eye. I love the little like copper and kind of like I don't know what that's called on the outside of it, but when I was talking to them, it's, the lens company is called Dual Lens. I've never heard of them before. But the company, they were telling me that they are going for like a vintage look, but with like a modern style. And I was just thinking like this paired with the S5 II X, I don't know, I just think it would look pretty badass. Pretty cool lens. I'm excited to look into these a little bit more. I couldn't help it. I had to shoot some of the vlog portion on the Proteus because I had to know what it would be like, what it would look like, what it would feel like. Okay, I need to sit down here. I got to do this outro quick because my arm's already burning. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it educational, helpful, entertaining when it comes to anamorphic lenses. And if you watch the video all the way through, be sure to hit the like button and comment down below. My arm really hurts, it's burning. And if any of these anamorphic lenses I used in the video interest you, I'm gonna leave some links in the description. They're affiliate links, it supports the channel. My arm's gonna fall off. Until the next video though, happy filming.